respirator system, including filters and cartridges, must be inspected before each use. If the respirator is dropped or otherwise impacted causing potential damage, the entire system should be inspected again. Any damaged or defective parts must be replaced prior to use. Begin by removing any filters or cartridges attached to the face piece. Inspect filter media for any visible damage and inspect all hard plastic components looking for cracks or breakage. Ensure the connection area is clean and can be properly inserted and removed from the face piece. Remove the head harness assembly by pulling down and outward on the bottom of the assembly. Inspect the head harness assembly, including the fascia, head harness, and buckles for damage, cracks, and fatiguing. Make sure the straps are intact and have good elasticity. Pull each strap to see that it shrinks back to its original length. Pull the harness straps through the buckles and then squeeze the buckle wings and pull the straps back through to ensure the straps move freely through the buckles. Examine the flexible silicone face seal. Check for distortion, cracks, tears, dirt, or other damage. To remove the speaking diaphragm for inspection, first, turn the speaking diaphragm counterclockwise a quarter turn. Next, from the outside of the respirator, push the speaking diaphragm inward to remove. Inspect the speaking diaphragm seal for any damage, inspect the plastic components for any damage, and inspect the diaphragm film material to ensure it is intact, looking for tears or holes in the film. To replace the speaking diaphragm, insert the speaking diaphragm into the face piece opening with the speaking diaphragm wings aligned vertically. Using your thumb, press down on the center of the speaking diaphragm, pushing it fully into the opening to ensure it is evenly and fully seated. With slight downward force, use the thumb and index finger to rotate the speaking diaphragm 90 degrees clockwise until the stop guards engage. The wings should now be horizontal. Visually inspect the speaking diaphragm for signs of misalignment or incomplete placement. If there is any indication of incomplete placement, remove the speaking diaphragm and repeat the installation procedure. Continue by inspecting the inhalation and exhalation valves for signs of debris, distortion, cracking, or tearing. Ensure the valves lay flat against the valve seat. Examine the cartridge or filter sealing area for distortion or for dirt or particulate that could prevent filters or cartridges from sealing to the respirator. Examine remaining plastic components for damage. To reassemble, install the respirator strap assembly to the face piece by aligning the ledge on the fascia to the latch located above the speaking diaphragm. Next, push the fascia down and over the exhalation valve area until it is seated. You can hold the respirator up by the head harness and raise it up and down to test the fascia connection to the face piece. The head cradle pin locks can be adjusted to make the cradle smaller or larger depending on head size. Adjust the pin locks so the cradle fits comfortably on your head. Notice that adjusting the head cradle to a smaller position can pull the buckles up and away from the temple bars of glasses. Making the head cradle larger can lower the buckles so they rest below the temple bars of glasses. To don the face piece, place it over your mouth and nose and pull the head cradle over the crown of your head. Secure the neck strap by hooking the ring into its latch. Pull straps to tighten. The head cradle straps can be easily adjusted. Pull the straps to tighten and squeeze the buckle wings and pull outward to loosen. To conduct a negative pressure seal check, don the face piece normally and lightly press the seal check button until you feel resistance. Hold the button and inhale gently. If you feel the face piece collapse slightly and pull closer to your face with no leaks between the face and the face piece, 
a proper seal has been obtained. If you feel leakage, readjust the respirator fit and repeat the seal check until a proper seal is obtained. To conduct a positive pressure seal check, cover the opening in the exhalation valve cover with the palm of your hand and exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly and no air leaks are detected between your face and the face piece, a proper seal has been obtained. It is important not to exhale too hard. The goal is to check the seal, not disturb the seal between the face piece and the face. If face seal air leakage is detected, reposition the respirator and or readjust the tension of the straps to eliminate air leakage. Repeat the user seal check until a proper seal is obtained. At least one of these seal check methods must be passed each time the respirator is donned. If a proper seal cannot be obtained, the respirator cannot be worn in a contaminated area. To remove the respirator, unclasp the bottom straps and pull the head harness over the head. 